Hey guys, what is going on? It is Devoki here once again. It is time for another episode of To the Moon. We are diving deeper into Johnny's memories and figuring out what exactly happened and what we should be doing. So here we are now into the present, trying to now look for more clues and see exactly what we should be doing here. The piano's got something for River. Ah, yes, this was the song for River. What kind of song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. Could be a very classy song. There we go. Turn on the lights, make sure it's a little bit more bright for the atmosphere. We are now upstairs where Johnny is laying in bed still. Neil is not to be found. How is John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just, we just couldn't make any progress. You better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Alright, well, looks like John's time is running out. I'm gonna go ahead and look for Neil. He's possibly in the kitchen somewhere. I think, if I remember correctly, the kitchen is over in this yonder. If, uh, it's right in this doorway here. That is the bathroom. Some would consider that as a kitchen, but not in this game, apparently. Let's find the real kitchen. Tommy, but Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. Yeah, right. I'm gonna smack them. Hey, wake up, kids. Oh, <laughs> turn it off, you giant doofus. <laughs> oh, oh, bummer. Okay, so I guess that's that. Is there any more clues here? I kind of want to see. They're, they've been reading some books, it looks like. Dusklight, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. That is interesting. Uh, maybe another year. <laughs> that kind of sounds like the plot from Warm Bodies, actually, a little bit. I Oh, that, that movie was amazing, guys. I don't know if you guys have seen Warm Bodies before, but that is a good movie. It's one of my favorites, actually. Lily, can you tell me anything? I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance, I suppose. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Mm, future. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Tommy and Sarah? So what are you going to tell them about John? I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But now... But how did you even end up in here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low, and the job market was... something. <laughs> Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help get them back on their feet? They do, and eventually, I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down he really wanted a family. So that means Johnny and River never had a family. Oh hey! Before Johnny fell unconscious, he, unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he would prob he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but. He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Oh, that's kind. Alright, well that was... a little bit dark. And sad. I... seriously, there's the kitchen, Neil. <laughs> hmm... What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records to be exact. Apparently. 
During his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Huh, beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount, its impact on his memories at the time of administra administration must be significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies that should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging and inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. <laughs> I wonder why John was taking uh, medicine to block his memories. That's interesting. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm gonna get some fresh air. So they're blocked. Literally blocked. <clears throat> Forgot my coffee. <laughs> Receive note beta blockers. Let's actually take a look at what beta blockers are. I wonder why he took beta blockers in the first place. A drug with the side effect of dampening memories by interfering with stress hormones. Oh, maybe it was just a antidepressant or something? Interesting. Is there a candy cane? Oh yeah, there's a candy up there. The very first, first thing that they wanted. It smells! <laughs> Quit barging in and out of doors. The roadkill, Eva. It smells. I know. It's your fault for running it over. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory, the one we're stuck at, it was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The, the olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I'm... what? <laughs> He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny's unconscious, he's still susceptible. I, I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now, you just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. <laughs> yes, I'll just- wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it. Exactly. I've already done my part. <laughs> oh, you miserable bastard. <laughs> um, if it helps any, I... What is it, Lily? Spit it out, woman! <laughs> I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. I thought she was gonna say she, uh, moved the roadkill. <laughs> oh, man. They aren't really disposable gloves, but they'll probably change after this. <laughs> Alright, well, so I got I got roadkill duty then. So apparently we're trying to link the memories um, with, the, with the smell. Because actually that is real. Smells do bring back a lot of memories. Or it's tied with a lot of memories. Um, gotta figure out how to get out of there. I'm not sure how many of you guys uh, have this, but like, if you guys smell a certain thing, and like the first time you smell it, it kind of leaves that impact on you. And then next time you smell that smell, it kind of brings you back that feeling almost. More roadkill. Huh. Deja vu. Also with music, too. I think hearing and smells are, like, just crazy. They're so powerful. A lot more powerful than we realize, actually, which is pretty cool. Let's keep it going, though. Alright, well, here we are. From This is from where it all started, guys. This roadkill. <laughs> the kind of things this job's get me into. It's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valved container in the car. It'd at least make an, its odor controllable. 
All right, well, let's go ahead and get that valve container then. Make sure that the smells are all concealed. <laughs> Neil's having a moment. Where are you going? I... I gotta go take a leak. <laughs> what? It's always the best excuse, actually. If, if you ever have to barge out of somewhere, just say you gotta go pee. No one will ask. What a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. What is she doing? Ah, uh, here it is. Receive valve container. Okay. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. Let's go ahead and pick up this vermin. Put it inside the container. Ugh. Received contained roadkill odor. Oh, we just literally put in the smell apparently. <laughs> It's like, forget, forget doing the whole roadkill, bringing it back. Oh, man. Gotta walk the whole path back again. Wish there was a quick travel. My goodness. That would be really helpful. I would like that. Here we go. But it's nice, though, because this is where we started out. And there's Neil. Oh, hey. Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great. Go get it set up. I'll be right back. Where are you going? I... I gotta, gotta go feed my digital pet. <laughs> what? Yeah, that. I've been feeling retro. <laughs> anyway, hurry and go set things up. I'll be there in no time. What are you? We got someone dying back there. I think he's up to something. What the potato is he up to? Oh, she sounds like me. <laughs> I've got, I've no time to check on him now. All right, well, looks like we're going back. Going back to the Johnskis. Dun dun. Such an ominous sound. Dun dun. So, when we get that exact point, I'll send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it mattered to be a de to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Luck's the last thing we need. <laughs> You're so dramatic. All right, so we're going back into the memories. Here we go. Act 3. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses, and at me. Well put. Well put. Okay, so now we're, uh, we're at the point where the memory was being blocked at, I think, when his, his childhood. Let's go! Oh, well. Wow. Oh, that's right. We're already ready to activate it. So we, we're trying to activate the ball, I think. And the soccer ball is what was blocked last time when we tried to do it. But now we have the smell. Or when we went in, it was like kind of blacked out a little bit on the side there. To think that this little thing's causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it, it at, <laughs> kick it to outer space. I suppose all we can do now is to send a signal and hope. Well... Ready? Smell it up, ladies and doctor. <laughs> All right, here they go. They're releasing the smell. Oh, man. The power smell. Something's happening. Quick, send it again. What's going on? Oh, my goodness. Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over for me, Lily. Oh man, the smell is killing him. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory now. What are we? Ta what are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. You've got to be kidding. 
Why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under the state, all our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny- Oh, you're freaking- <laughs> Don't pull that contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie and you're no hero, you're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here! Screw that, if you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. <laughs> Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill. Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through this entrance, <laughs> entrance exams. Oh, dang, so now their lives are in danger too. Doctor. Oh, seems stabilized. Doctor. I think we're okay for now. Well, dang. That was something. <laughs> and guess what? Your carrot cake sucks! Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, and at last the last Christmas party you... Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's go before that happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? <laughs> it's like at their last moments they scream out everything they hate each other instead of saying that they love each other. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we can't get there, really. What the heck? Is there like a connecting part up here? Nope. Down here, maybe? The memory seems pretty still disordered. Disoriented here. I don't really know. Well, we're, we're walking the earth here. Or the, these little scattered memory joints. No, down here is a no-go either. Let's go back to the soccer ball and see what's up with the doodle. Maybe we're missing something. Maybe we can click on the soccer ball. That, <laughs> that sucks. Oh, I lost sight of the ball. It's all whiteness. Oh, there it is. Alright, well, let's, let's click on the soccer ball. Here goes nothing. Oh, well, that's what we were supposed to do. Gosh, dang it. Walking around all over the place like a fool. Alright, so we're trying to get past here. Oh, hey look! We made it to the other side! Oh, oh, kind of. Maybe? Oh, here we are! At the young preen of Johnny's age. Johnny's life here. Wow, I can't believe that worked! So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Er, what? What? There was something strange in there, did you not see it? I... I suppose not. Never mind, I just hope I'm wrong. Yikes. Alright, well... Let's see what's up here. Okay... This is... odd. There's Johnny's, there's a car, we can't... Here. Wow, that sounds fabulous! I know, right? You've got to take them there one day. I wonder what they're talking about. Sheesh, the time's overlapping. The t or the time overlap's getting out of hand. Look at how many of him there are. It's like a zoo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there there are a lot of them. Oh, hey, look, there's a soccer ball. Oh gosh, I can't catch him though. Stay still. Ha! It looks like the ball is moving around its own and he's just chasing it. <laughs> That's creepy. Hey, look, roadkill. All thanks to this little fella's sacrifice. I hope. So it all ties back to the roadkill. What else? Okay, so it looks like something's here then. Oh, geez, look at the time. I'd better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Well, this is the end of the road. And you're, you were saying... 
Never mind that, maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place, it's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in the memory that could do such a thing would be... Shit, duh! We need to go back now! Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come! Uh-oh. What's happening? The music is getting kind of intense. They're fast walking, I think. Johnny's playing in the street! Oh, I think I know what's gonna happen. Oh, no. Oh, snap! That's where it happens. That's why the memories are haywired. Yikes. Got hit with the car. Oh, man. Well, that's something. There's little Johnny there. Uh-oh. That is not good. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, unconscious, how would we be seeing this here, what he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. What? Uh, what? Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey! Oh! Joey, can you hear me? Joey? Why'd you hit Joey, Ma? Why'd you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey. Wake up! Oh, no. Oh. That sucks. Joey. Even though they were young, to lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel, at least Johnny had the beta blockers erase the memories. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of all those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. Uh oh. At least I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. Oh gosh, but if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Dang! Received a note, Joey. Seems like that, that, or seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd, it's not putting up barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. Dang, so Joey was his twin brother. Wow. So now we're going back a little bit more further. Dude, you should have totally give this a try. Joey, I mean really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed through three books straight. What's it called? Anamorphous. It's about these group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. Meh, I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great! Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like, rawr, 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 rawr. And then they pick up lasers, and it's all pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm going to be a famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy both you and Ma really big houses. How would you get rich if you give away your books for free? Free for the kids, the parents will still have to pay, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that the parents will be thrilled to give you money. What, you're still mad about the other day? Aw, oh, come on. I called the first dibs on the train fair and square. 
What happened to your prize anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's just not a... Or look, it's not just about that day. You know... You, or you know Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And the last Easter, and the time we went fishing, and okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yup. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? Ah, brothers. Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on, you're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Aw, oh, it's so sweet. Oh, wait, let's go confuse the neighbors. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's adorable. Wait, in the rain? Yes, in the rain, come on. Oh my goodness. That's so adorable. So sad, too. Dang, we're just getting all the power-ups on its own also. Siblings, guys. Just make sure you love your siblings. That's just what that is. I want to go ahead and read the um, Animorphous. So that was Joey's favorite childhood books. That's why Johnny likes Animorphous. That's so adorable. And Joey, Johnny's twin brothers, deceased since childhood. Things are starting to tie together, ladies and gents. It is starting to tie together. The train. The train. Linking us back now even further. Oh, it's a festival! Some kind of carnival, huh? Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering and go already. Aw, oh, you ruined it. Alright. These people. Fruits! Fresh fruits! Apples, oranges, and tomatoes, we got it all! Wait a minute, tomatoes aren't fruits? Uh, yeah, they are. They are the ovaries of the plants and contain seeds. That's what fruits <laughs> That's what fruits is. But come on, tomatoes? We never ever refer to them as fruits. We? Who? I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take cooking very seriously. Oh, what? John, but I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Joey won at fair and square, didn't he? But I want, I won too. He just went first. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny? Okay, you dumplings. Don't block the stand now. Come on, let's see what, let's see what's over there. I'm not a dumpling. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna call you Dumpling from now on. <laughs> You're bluffing. Dumpling. <laughs> That's adorable. Ah, yes. Fortunes of Wonders are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer, and this one a doctor. Oh, my. Come on, I'm getting both of you treats. Hey, where's my tip? <laughs> Let's go ahead and follow them around. It seems like where they're going is pretty interesting. Oh, is that a scarecrow? That's pretty scary. This place looks pretty festive. Alright, and... Requires three bars of memory links to proceed. Well, let's go find our three bars of memory link then. Oh, what the heck? Um, well, let's save it while we're here, I guess. Okay, I think we're kind of stuck. Are we stuck? <laughs> oh, boy. We are stuck. Let's load. Okay, there we go. Auto save was right before. Thank goodness for auto saves. I was like, uh, we just lost a lot of progress, ladies and gents. Okay, so that requires three memory links that way. So let's not go that way. Um, let us go. Oh wait, maybe we didn't talk to them. Okay. So they're just talking about that, about the fruit. Passing this really quick here. He's gonna call Rosaline Dumplings. Doctor and lawyer. Getting treats. 
Okay, so they're going there. So let's not go down that bridge. We got one memory link. Let's just try to find where they're at. They're, they're, they're gonna go get treats, but I don't know if that's where we're supposed to follow them. If there's anything else here. Okay, so that's the three memory links there. Let's not go into that area. Let's just keep going this way. Into the abyss of <laughs> the memories. Can I talk to this guy? Hey, is that a whack-a-mole? Whack a what? Whack a mole! You take a melon and whack moles! Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, butthead. <laughs> it's how people blew off steam before FPS were invented. How primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes! Uh yeah, let's play whack-a-mole. Yeah, this is mouse. Awesome! It's whack-a-mole! This is such an awesome game. Oh, we're playing whack-a-mole? What the heck? Alright, go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, you moles. You suckers. You think you got the best of me today. Not today, though. Not today. Oh, man. I'm doing it. No, no, no. No, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Man, if there's MLG for Whack-A-Mole, sign me up! I am- Oh, I missed one! What the heck? I was talking too much smack and that's what happened. Oh, shoot! 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 Time's up! What a that was sick! Let's see now. Out of 43 total targets, you struck 53 times and made 41 successful hits. That's a 95% hit rate. It's your new record! <laughs> Sweet! Oh, so we were supposed to play Whack-A-Mole one time. Okay. Alright, so that was fun. Fruits and vegetables? Just in case. Okay, they're just talking about the tomatoes. I thought they would give me another memory link here, but maybe not. Alright. Um, that was that. Ah, I don't want to... You know what? We're going to save it really quick. I'm going to overwrite this one. Just in case this blocks us. Requires three bars of memory to proceed. Okay, good. It didn't, it didn't, <laughs> it didn't freeze us there. Thank goodness. Alright, so we got Whack-A-Mole, we just need one more memory link somewhere. I wonder where that last memory link is. Something that looks out of place? I'm hovering over things, I'm not finding it. Balloons, scarecrows, bushes, balloons, people. Can't touch any of the people. I wonder if, do I have to play Whack-A-Mole again? I doubt I have to do that. That would be weird if they made me play that. The playground? Can I come down here a little bit? Oh look! A Ferris wheel! Welcome and behold! The world's smallest Ferris wheel! Can we ride it? Absolutely not! Does it, does it even work? Absolutely not! Looks like someone just gotta head some chairs to a water wheel. <laughs> or just glue some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know, don't care. Alright, so that was three. Uh, let's go to this bridge over here in the far right. Since that was the first one we tried to go into, but it failed. Failed, failed, failed. Let's see what's up. Alright. And looks like these are treats here. Oh, look, there's Johnny and Joey. Mmm, I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. Nah, I don't want to taste regular olives. Oh, these are pickled olives! You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows, maybe you'll like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What sound was that? <laughs> I'm done, though. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground and not an inch too far. I was trying to think of like what that sound was. Like, ma. <laughs> Just leave that bag. I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine. I want it. Alright, so that's where pickled olives. So that's where he got the pickled olives from. Adorable. Dang. Oh wait, he went this way. I'm just gonna go follow him. I feel like... Oh, oh no, I'm, I'm guessing they need memory links that way. Let's just look around really quick before we, we try to get ahead of ourselves. Up on the stage maybe? This is pretty big. Okay, so we got one memory link here. So we got all five memory links now. Um, let's try to see if there is something we can activate around here. It's kind of going slow. There's a horsey. Alright, so nope, that was it. Looks like that bridge up there was where that far left bridge was. And let's just go. Going 
it's, uh, it's Stucky. It's Stucky. <laughs> the character movement is Stucky. Stucky? St I was trying to say stuck and sticking. Alright. So now we can go to this side here. And it looks like Johnny's over here on the playground. Let's see what he's doing. He's venturing around a little bit. Where are you going, Johnny? doing over here bud way to follow mom's orders huh all right well we're following mischievous little Johnny I wonder where he's going where are you going John what what is it what do you see there buddy a leap of faith there. Wow. Maybe this is where he got his desire for space. Wow, that's a really pretty scenery. <laughs> I love this song, by the way. This song is just amazing. I love the intro, or the songs, <laughs> to the moon. And this one's my favorite, though. For sure. Whoa! Well, okay, so he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? There was a hill outside of the city that we stay at. The same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. The thing was though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good. But when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I'd actually slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. <laughs> You're terrible. I know. <laughs> it's a shame though. All these nice memories, lost and never found, and who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh! I told you packs of tigers dwell here! What the heck? What is it? Hey, who's that? It's a little girl! Hello! Wait, don't go! I'm Johnny, what's your name? You're at my spot. It's River! What? Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Oh my gosh, it's River! Um, you wanna join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? Ah, oh, look at them. So many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh. Uh, I did too. <laughs> you said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. 
You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it at school. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, every, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Hmm? What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name as- just have the same name everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. No, that's deep. Now I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are anyways? My dad says said they're giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. <laughs> Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. <laughs> kangaroos? I knew there was something special about them. Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, of other things, never tried a rabbit, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see, who makes one out first? Oh, that's why she's obsessed with rabbits! Okay, we'll start in three. Three, two, one, and I see it. <laughs> uh, where? <laughs> in the sky. Um, but where in the sky? Think big. Uh, bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see it. Tell me what you see. There, right? There's the two ears and the head. What else? And there. That's There's its two feet. Yes, what else? And, and the moon. The moon is its big, round belly. <laughs> so, what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They're, they can see it, or they can see all the other lighthouses, but they're, and they want to talk to them, but they can't, because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. <laughs> that bag, what's in it? Oh, it's a prize I won from the Whack-A-Mole. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a... thing. I don't really know what it is. Is that the... Is, what is that? Is that the platypus? It's some kind of weird duck beaver thing. <laughs> it's the platypus! May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny? Eek! That's Ma calling. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. <laughs> Will you be here next year? Yep. Will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. What if you forget or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Ah. 
Right on the rabbit's tummy. Oh my goodness. Johnny, coming! Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. Gosh, I'm trying not to cry. It's so sad and cute. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, such a sad game. My goodness, the feels. I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> Man, this is the saddest game I've played. If they ever get lost? Wait, does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought this was going to be an inspirational childhood dream story. I should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. <laughs> I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we are contracted to do. Damn it, Eva, wait! Eva! I think she's gonna go pull the plug to send him to the moon. Oh, wait, maybe not. I know you are in here. Wait, maybe, maybe I, I'm not sure what she's gonna do. <laughs> Receive note to the moon. A stuffed toy platypus. This is all your fault. Where is she? What's going on? What is Eva doing? Oh my gosh. Eva! Wait! Turn around. Neil. I know what you're planning to do. I know that you know. Yeah? Well, I know that you know that I know. <laughs> Look, our contract is sent him to the moon. And the only way for that to happen is if Johnny is motivated to do so. But if that means removing River, then what's the point? The reason why he even wants to go to the moon in the first place is because she died. I know, but we are legally bound by the contract to specifically... Bleep the contract! <laughs> I didn't take this job to make him miserable, Eva. I don't know what... I don't know about you, but I signed to help the freaking geezer geezers die happy. Me too, and I like this job. But if we directly go against our legal obligations, we'd be in for our court hearings. We'll appeal. We know that Johnny'd be happy to not go to the moon. Johnny would be happy with a lot of alternate life tangents, Neil. We are not here to play God. Our job is to give him what he's signed for. Well, we happen to know what he wants better than he does. Look, I'm only risking losing River because I believe in her and... What do you mean, risk? You're removing her! And besides, I'll make up for it! Make up for it how? Oh my goodness, we're running out of time! Just trust me! Oh my goodness, she's fast! So it's the one who pushed me off the... <laughs> bleeping lighthouse! Oh my goodness, so she's trying to remove River. Oh my gosh, did you just... Uh oh, things are happening. Freaking light! Data. Abusing your powers doesn't disable my controls entirely, Eva. Oh man, the showdown by Eva and Watts. Oh my goodness, she's <laughs> throwing things. Booby traps? Really, Eva? Just trying to buy some time. <laughs> Gee, thanks for telling me. Okay, so let's. All right, all right, all right. So we got it. We got to watch out for the booby trap. Oh my gosh, Eva is doing it. She's booby trapping the place. Oh, she's going mad. What is she doing? Holy smokes! Those are some expensive equipment you're tossing. Seriously, just stay put and wait till I'm done. Oh, piss off. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, my goodness. Where is she? Eva, where are you? Look, don't make me X this whole thing and unplug you. Would you really risk distorting his memories as they are? Just stop trying, please. This won't take long. Ah, oh, not again. Or come and find me at the end of the hall. Dang it, Eva. You and your shenanigans. Oh my goodness, what is this? Zombies? Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding. Is this, is this a game to you, Eva? Oh, they're zombies! Dear lord, there aren't just zombies, Eva. They're zombie <laughs> Oh 
Oh my goodness, don't come any closer! I got plants! <laughs> uh, WASD on the keyboard to shoot. Wait, what? Oh, WASD on the keyboard to shoot. Oh yeah, suckers, take it! <laughs> oh, I got a gun! Oh, I'm shooting plants! Holy smokes, there's platypuses! Get out of here! <laughs> I'm shooting plants! Whew, these things are good for something after all. Platypus roadblock, suckers! Oh no, I hit <laughs> No, no, no! Eat zombies! Eat zombies! Oh, MLG status right here. Alright. Where are you? Holy smokes! Oh my gosh! Ugh. Dang, she is serious! How do I get past that? Oh, that wasn't the right call right there. Alright. We got this. We got this. This whole thing is just a loop! Oh, snap. It is just a loop. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, crap. Where we go? Ah! Oh! I need this! <laughs> oh my goodness! Just tossed her into the wall. <laughs> what the... Let's go in there, yeah! Dang, this is an intense episode! <laughs> Crazy! Oh my gosh! Eva? What happened? Eva? Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh. This, this memory is just like freaking out. There's Johnny's... There's... There's, oh, there's horses! There's freaking horses there! <laughs> what was that? Oh, man. Just all these memories just pouring back now. There's rats and rabbits flying all over the place. There's paper rabbits? Man, this is sketch. It's creepy. Oh, my goodness. The Matrix. Hello. Hello, Neo. Morpheus. <laughs> I can't believe they are doing Matrix. What? It's Eva, you idiot. <laughs> no. We're the only ones here. <laughs> Listen, whatever you've been doing, stop it. We might not know what Johnny wants, but we know what he doesn't want. And what he doesn't want is exactly what you're accelerating. It's already done, Neil. Oh my gosh, why don't you come out now? Oh man. Well. Oh boy. Okay, so I guess we're controlling it now. Eva. Oh man, she's literally pushing each other out of the way. What did you do to her? Relax, she's merely going elsewhere. Oh man. You know, it's one thing to disable my controls to feed me some olives, but this is a way out of line. I'm sorry, but this just won't go anywhere if you keep on resetting the memory. At this point, this is the only way I'm asking you to trust me. So please, just calm down and wait here. Then just pull the trigger already, where are you going? There's just one last thing I need to do. Poser. There's no need to visualize a door. <laughs> What's with all this melodrama, Neil? Why are you fighting so hard for this? Forget it. There's no time. Everything will be alright, man. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, what are you? Shh. Um, hello? Oh, she's not there. Sorry, kid. It's already started. Oh. Come on, they're gonna hog all the good tables. Nicholas, they're all the same, sheesh. 
Johnny, nah, Joey's right. The ones by the kitchen smells better. Totally, and all of refills are just steps away. Ack, olives. Hey, there's Joey now. Saving him doesn't justify it. He can always find another river, Neil. But he'll only have one brother. Come on, we're in the way. Short step. Deep breath Everything is alright Chin up I can't Step into the spotlight She said I'm sad Somehow without any words I just Stood there Searching for an answer When this world is no more The moon is all we'll see I'll ask you to fly away with me Until the stars all fall down They empty from the sky but I don't mind If you're with me Then everything's alright Why do my words Always lose their meaning Such a rift between them He said I can't Really seem to read you I just Stood there Never know what I should do When this world is no more The moon is all really nice. I like that. It's really sad though. Well, he actually made it, huh? You sound surprised. Whatever happened to, we always succeed because we are awesome. This isn't a success. Oh, lighten up! We're in NASA! We don't have much time left. Let's at least check this place out. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, and NASA. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I think we're reaching pretty much close to the end of the episode, or I mean the end of the uh, the game here. Um, this was probably one of the saddest things I filmed. <laughs> it's one of the saddest things I've played, my goodness gracious. The feels are incredible. But uh, I just want to say, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys did enjoy. I know another pretty much almost hour-long episode, which is insane. Um, but thank you guys for sticking to it. It's really awesome. This, this story is really unfolding well. And this has been Aboki, going to the moon, and I'll we'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye. Short steps, deep breath, everything is alright. Chin up, I can't step into the spotlight. She said, I'm sad. Somehow without any words I just stood there Searching for an answer